Hey everyone, my name is Owen, and this is the second video in my tutorial series on Java programming. And today we are going to be going over the popular application, which pretty much any tutorial series or any textbook or you know pretty much anything for every language is going to teach you is called Hello World. So just open up BlueJ when you're ready, and we're going to be going over the a couple parts, mainly the skeleton. Alright, so if you open this up, the first thing we're going to do is actually uh, create a new project. So just click project and the new project, then go to whatever folder you want it saved in. And I'm just going to name this one toot1 for the sake of this tutorial. So say create and then once you have that you're going to want to click new class and then you're going to create a class and right now we're going to call this class tester so once you have that just double click on it to open and in here we're going to have some basic um, it's going to have some automated code but I'm actually going to delete all this stuff so that way we can start fresh and from the beginning so to start out we're going to do public class tester so what this is, this section of the code right here, is this is defining your class. So uh, as you can see, our class name is tester, and we can we can actually change this in BlueJ. Um, a lot of programs you won't be able to do this, but like I could change this to uh, like high, and as you can see up on the top, it'll rename it to high or whatever. But it has to be um, anything that you name, by the way, also has to. I'll get into this later, but it has to be a name that um, isn't used. Like I can't call call this class, for example. It, it doesn't work. So I'll get into that later, though. So for now, we're gonna, we're gonna name it tester, and then we're gonna start out with our main constructor. And what you're gonna do there is type in public static void main. Whoops. String args. So um, just a first note here, just because I, I just want to get this part out of the way, because I've seen it. Um, I've seen it different ways. You can either put these two brackets right here, or you can also have them both like in between here. Oops. And these are square brackets, by the way, if you can't see them. But so what we have here, we have public static main or void main, and I'll get more in depth with these. But I guess a, a brief intro summary is right here is public and this defines pretty much what can use this constructor and so you can have public and you can also have private um, so public can be used in any class like anywhere and private anything if you name something private it can only be named it can only be used in the current class that you're in so static means uh, you know exactly what the word means. It means you can't change the very you can't change anything in here. You can, but you can't change this, I guess. And void means the void is what we're going to return, and this means that we aren't going to return anything. So you could also put like boolean, but you know int string. I'll get into those things later, but for now we'll just stick with void. And main is the name of our method. So in here we have our parameters, which are the string. And I, I'll get back into this stuff later once we get into objects and other things. But, you know, we have string and then arc, so that's not too important. But for now, you're going to need two brackets. Um, always, you know, there are some exceptions, but for stuff like this, for your your classes and your methods, you need brackets. And inside these brackets is where you're going to put your code. So to start out, first I'd like to go over... Uh, well, let me let me finish by saying that this is the skeleton of your code. This is how you start. Um, not every class, but a lot of your your main class that you plan on controlling all the other classes in, pretty much. So we're gonna start out now by doing. Um, uh, we're gonna create the Hello World application, and I'm just gonna compile this. So in order to do this, we need to print our code. So in order to print this, we're going to type in system.out.println, then inside there. So 
when you print something out, um, for now we're just going to print out a string, which is going to say, hello world. So, right here, system.out.println is probably the, you know, it's the main method, the main way of printing something out. There's, there's other ways, but um, I'll get into that later. But for now, you know, you can, and these, are, these are your parameters inside your uh, parentheses right here. So, and any time that you use a string, which is a, you know, some sort of text, like you want it to print out a word or a phrase, it has to be encased inside these quotation marks. So for now we're going to just do hello world and I'll show you. You can compile that and then come back over here and once you compile your code you can either right click here and hit compile or you can go over here and click compile. You can want to right click on this and do void main and then just click OK. Whatever it pops up by default is going to be there. So now you can see it'll print out hello world for us. So um, that's that's pretty much all there is to the Hello World application. It's very simple and very easy application to make. But I'd like to go over a couple other things when you're printing. First off, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna show you how to. Actually, I gotta go above this. If it, you go above this, you can do system dot out dot out print. So as opposed to putting print line, what we did here. It, uh, you can also put print, and it's pretty much done the same way, just without the L and the N, which is just stands for print. So you can put, um, I don't know, hi, of course, in your uh, quotation marks. And so the, what I'm going to show you here, I'll, I'll open this up just to give you a better view of it. So what this, oh. Um, every every time, by the way, using this applicate using Blue today, you're gonna have to clear out your your uh, terminal by either hitting Control K or you can hit just hit Clear under the Options menu. So what this does is it prints Hi and then Hello World. So if we come back into our code, you can see our first line which says Print prints Hi and a space afterward, and then our next line clicks Hello World. So, uh, to show you the difference, pr every time that you use print, it's not going, uh, it, whatever you print after print, it's going to print on the same line. Um, as opposed to using print line, which when you use print line, it'll, it's going to print your text, and then it's going to go down a line. So if I were to, even if I were to use um, print afterward, after line, you'll see it's going to skip down another line. I forgot to uh, clear my terminal, but ignore this top line. But this is what it's going to print out. It's going to print out hello world and then hi. So what the print line does, like I just said, it's going to print your text and then it's going to skip a line. And then everything that you print after that is going to be printed on, you know, on a lower line. So that's that's all there is to that. Um, another thing I would like to go over is remarks in this, or rems is actually it's what they're referred to. They uh, it stands for remark. So there's two ways to do, two common ways to do a remark, and that is either two forward slashes in a row. And as you can see, it, it'll gray out. Most applications will gray out. It'll darker, go some sort of color to tell you that it's a remark. It'll go green sometimes. So you can see this. I can put um, you know, my name, Owen. It, it's very common that people do like in, you know, either here or somewhere in their code they'll do like Owen. Then they'll put the date, which in my case it's 113, uh, 2012. And I don't know. They can put where they put it. I'm I'm at home right now, but whatever. Um, so that's one way to do it. And but every time you have to do, or every time you do forward slash, you have to continue doing a forward slash because. As you can see, if I put high here, this isn't dark, and if I try to compile it, I'm going to get an error. Now this is because these slashes right here only cover this line and on. But I can, however, type as much as I want in this line, it'll be completely fine. I can type whatever I want, um, and nothing's going to happen. It's just because it's just a comment, and it's just com going to completely ignore 
this line of code. So if you don't, if you have a big section of code, however, and you don't want to do slashes every time, there is another way, and that's called a block rem or block remark. And the way that you do that is a forward slash and an asterisk. And here you can go, I can put Owen, I can skip a line, and as you can see, it does it automatically here. Um, uh, but, you know, you don't actually need, it, it's weird that they add asterisk marks in, that's just kind of a way of organization, but you don't actually need that there. I'll, I'll show you a better example down here. I'll comment this out. So you want to do forward slash and an asterisk. And then you can come down here and then do a forward slash and an asterisk. Or, sorry, an asterisk and then a forward slash. So you want to start with a forward slash and an asterisk the first time, and end your comment, and end your comment with an asterisk and then a forward slash. So as you can see, this is all grayed out. Tells you that it's a comment. But uh, be sure that if you ever delete a comment, you got to delete both. And you're using a block RAM, you got to do, you got to make sure that you delete both the beginning and the end, and the end. Alright, well that just froze on me, but that's um, that's all I really want to cover in this video, so that, I guess that's good timing. But, um, just a, a quick project, you know, just go around, um, make sure you got your skeleton down right here, uh, and, and try to make the Hello World application, it's very easy, very simple, you can, um, man, you can also put a you know, multiple things. You you can put uh, things other than a string, which I guess I should have adjusted um, here. I don't know whether... Okay, this is frozen, but I'll just type this in real quick. So, uh, what I mean when I say that you can put other things in there, I mean other than a string, which means you don't have to just print out text. You can print out um, numbers. It can even do math if you want it to. And, you know... Allow me to show you real quick. So, system dot out dot print line. So, for example, you can do twenty five, sorry, twenty five divided by five, and then you can print that out. And then, I'll show you it'll if you do just twenty five divided by five, it'll uh, divide by five. It'll actually do the math for you, and it'll do five. However. Be sure that if you wanted to do math, you do not put it in quotation marks. Um, anytime you wanted to do some sort of operation that's inside, or if you wanted to print out a variable, for example, if I had, uh, we'll get into variables later, but let's just get into v equals 5. Um, and then I did, I said to print v. Um, that's going to print the variable out for you, which is also 5. So. You know, you can play around with that a bunch. Um, there's multiple things that you can get in, put in. And uh, I forgot to mention in the introductory video that, and in my other video, that um, this series is based around a book. Um, it, all the all the lessons that I'm doing in here are actually taken out of a book, and uh, along with you know any projects that I may bring in. And that book is called um, Blue Pelican Java. So. If it'll open here, I'll, I'll, you know, you can you can Google it. I think I don't know whether the book's free. I'll, I can't give I can't give you a free version of the book, but you can Google it around, or you can Google it and try to find one. But they're all in here. If you can't find it, they have, like you see, yeah, here's Hello World. So if you prefer reading or anything, by all means, go into this, um, because I'm really just trying to get you, you know, trying to educate you guys, I guess, help you guys out. But, you know, that's that's pretty much it. So go ahead and play around with this. Um, if you guys want a project, uh, just try to print out multiple things, such as, you know, do math like 25, you know, 25 divided by 5, or you can print out the word, your name or something, you know, my name's Owen. So, you know, just mess around with it a bunch. So that's, that, uh, that ends this tutorial. And I'll see you guys next time. So, yeah, have fun.